Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths, it is simply lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the far lands, a legend of the Order of the Stone endures, on a risk of self-evident fact. Okay, 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 well, Billy West, but yeah, that did a pretty good job. The topic of today is Minecraft Story Mode. More specifically, Season 3. Would, could, and sh no, that's actually, I'm always gonna get this wrong. Would, should, and could Minecraft Story Mode return for a third season, or maybe even another DCL? Unless you've been living under a rock, like me, until up until 2018, unless you've been living under a rock, Minecraft Story Mode is a Telltale game series. Telltale makes a lot of games based on stories, and your choices could affect the future just like Minecraft Story Mode. Minecraft Story Mode came out in 2015 and consisted with two seasons. Season 1, I'll give you a quick one down of the storyline. Season 1 took place with uh, the, the origin story of Jesse and his or her friends. You and your friends embark on a very long journey that consists of three episodes of you trying to reunite the Order of the Stone, the heroes, the four of these, or now five of these heroes, that you're trying to get re reunite them to stop this wither storm. Instead of them stopping it, you and your friends, Olivia, like a redstone nerd, Axel, a muscle man, Lucas, kind of like a builder and kind of arrogant, and Petra, the warrior, sort of. And how could I forget Ruben? Rest in peace, little buddy. You will be missed. Ruben will be remembered. And then four DCLs. Four episodes of this DCL consisted of uh, you're going up like on like a skyblock kind of adventure, a psychopath, psychopath. What will you call these things? Uh, a murderer with a white pumpkin on its head, and a redstone machine thing. I don't really know what that was about. And lastly, admins or like admin or like leaders of servers, uh, apparently. So yeah, all of that. But you're probably wondering, yeah, it's a great series. Sounds really interest in intriguing. So. What exactly happened? We're going to explain it right now. Unfortunately, in 2018, Telltale was facing some financial problems, which means that they couldn't produce enough, make enough money so that they could produce any more games. Which means the end of Minecraft Story Mode, they couldn't pay any more play, uh, their workers, and the end of Telltale. According to GING, I'll link this in the description, Telltale Games was founded in 2004, where developers worked on point to a point and click puzzle adventure games like Sam and Max series, yeah, 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 blah, 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 all this stuff about walking to Okay, anyway. Furthermore, the crunch, the created meddling with the other structural problems, development our studios because of stressful work environment, which is actually understandable given all the seating is really, really hard. And development and studio created stressful environments to make developers tasks, making them more episodic and game time too. Sometimes within weeks. In 2017, company co-founder Kevin Kevin uh, I don't know Burn Burner or something stepped down from the company, and the company had laid off 90 employees. In 2018, Telltale Games announced the majority uh, of the studio's closure. Nine per 90 percent of work should have been laid off. As a, a skeleton of, of the crew remain to complete on Minecraft Story Mode. Boom, right there. Information. While they had the teams of Walking Dead were, were saved, developers and players who laid off the work were reportedly giving no warning or survey. Telltale formerly management is currently facing a class of lawsuit for violating uh, California labor. It really hurt your company then. Good news for this, though. It says, Telltale Games is alive in some form. Again, bought by, however you see his name. Oh, Malibu, California based company called LCG Entertainment. Intriguing, isn't it? But news of Telltale's reveal isn't clear cut. This, by the way, this was made like a year ago. Would suggest, especially considering Telltale's complete history leading up its closure in 2018. More information in a second. 
But this is the big money question, what games will this new Telltale Games company make? Although Telltale remains the rights to its original games, as well as the licenses to some of the Warner Bros, Telltale Games will be able to make a company new games for licenses as lost since the company's closure in 2018, which means no more Minecraft, Marvel, or most likely The Walking Dead. Yeah, guys, this is pretty sad. But, again, this was made a year ago, and who really knows? Marvel could return, I mean, hopefully, and Minecraft. I don't really know. They don't own the rights anymore, but that doesn't still. A former manager, which the remains of Anonymous, revealed to NG Connect that Idly and Eltel Game has purchased the rights to tell them this past string whenever this post was made. It was Layar picked off one of IP brand name, a new item that cannot be legally reactivate the license of the IP holders blessing. So sadly, I don't know if they can really get these things. They can always ask, but we're going to get into why Minecraft may not want to do that in a soon little bit. However, ING released a certain licenses previously to re revert it back to the original IP owner. Minecraft went back to Microsoft. Marvel went back to Marvel. The Walking Dead went back to Skybound. The Force is familiar uh, uh, matter, matter set. Minecraft went back to Microsoft, Marvel went back to Marvel, The Walking Dead went back to Skybound. So they don't own the licenses to these games anymore. Because they made a deal probably back then, before Telltale went shut down, and now that it's kind of revived, and that's kind of a little bit, now that it's revived, could we see Minecraft Story Mode Season 3? To this, I would say no. Well, we'll get into more information in a little bit. We don't really actually know that, but we'll get I have this link in the description if you want to read this for yourself, but I have an article made about a year ago by one of the staff members, Anonymous, obviously, and it says, you should be a picture here, I don't know where it went. It's not even listed in their games anymore, actually. Important new, important, important Minecraft story mode information, jeez. Make sure you download your episodes. Today, we have some important news to share about all players of Minecraft Story Mode and Telltale Game Series 1 and 2 on behalf of its publisher. As you might have heard, its publisher is no longer in business, which unfortunately means Minecraft Story Mode will no longer be supported. If you have purchased these seasons, please download all the remaining episodes prior to the service being discontinued in June. Here's the full message. On behalf of the publisher, Minecraft Story Mode's a Telltale Game Series 1, Season 1 and Season 2 are no longer support will no longer be supported on june 25th 2019 if you purchase these seasons please download the remaining prior remaining episodes prior to the service being discontinued in june unfortunately i don't have minecraft story mode season two and the next part is just about so if you uh either download season two yeah there's all this stuff just telling you to download it so i haven't downloaded season two unfortunately i do i do have the full Season 1, including the DCL, so I got that with my Xbox, it came with the Xbox, so I had that, but you unfortunately can't get Season 2 unless you have it on a disc, which I can get on eBay. Yeah, I might play that soon, just because, just want to hype it up. Also have this link in the description, but right here it says, when I looked up on the tell Minecraft Story Mode, if I just searched it up on Google, Minecraft Story Mode, and we, it says www.telltale.com and whatever that means, I forgot what that means, like the arrow, Telltale Games. So if I just tap on that, I'll get to here. And it says Minecraft Story Mode. My staff, this was made, this game came out October 13, 2015. I didn't even know they had the exact time, 338, that's kind of funny. Minecraft Story Mode, a Telltale Game Series, Season 1 and Season 2, currently not supported, as we don't possess the license to sell, distribute, or support them, which explains why Telltale does not like, that's why they, they actually kind of discontinued everything. That, that actually makes a lot of sense. That's why they discontinued making them and being able to buy them at the store. I mean, obviously, you can still get them on the disc, but this actually makes sense why you can't get them on Steam or, or anything else. Now, let's move on to even more information. Yeah, I just took a lot of research, so I, I appreciate it. Like, the last thing, or not the last thing, the second last thing, whatever, is Minecraft, for a reason, has a thing with lore. Minecraft never really wants to tell you lore, and that's why I think that if it was Minecraft's choice, it wouldn't do it. But the only thing I see a problem with it, because first of all, Minecraft Story Mode, they would do it for the fans, and if Minecraft cared so much about their community, yeah, that's exactly why they, they would probably make another Minecraft Story Mode if they own the rights. I don't even know if they own the rights. So, yeah, I don't really think that they would 
necessarily say we don't want Minecraft to rainbow, but the only thing I see in the way with that is the community and the fact that they're literally making a Minecraft movie. I'll talk about that in a little bit, like not in this video, but maybe a future video. So saying that, I don't really think they would, but maybe because you know Minecraft, like almost every Minecraft Minecon live, they say we want you to figure out your own lore, make up your own lore, like. My game theory does that almost every episode with Minecraft figures out lore of Minecraft, which maybe I consider doing. So, yeah, sadly, maybe maybe Minecraft just doesn't want it to come back because they have a thing with lore. But the only thing I would see a problem with, which is probably the mo like the least likely, is that they don't care because Minecraft obviously does care about the community and would do more things. I mean, they didn't. They even considered doing something like they even considered. Actually, they don't. They, they, never mind. They didn't. So, yeah, I don't really know that. So, Minecraft probably doesn't want to come back or no. We don't really know that. And maybe I even email Mojang and ask about that. But even even hop on feedback. There are lots of suggestions for a Minecraft story mode season three, and I don't think any of the developers. I'll put a screenshot on screenshot up on screen. If they said no, we cannot do that. And they're all from like a year ago. Not even a year ago. I don't. Even, I don't know when this video will come up, but not even a year ago, people. We're asking for Minecraft Story Mode Season 3, gifting that people really want Minecraft Story Mode Season 3. And maybe even some of the posts get deleted because they just they just see it so much, so really we don't really know that. Now this last piece of information is probably going to be the most ground shaking, and I'm it's not definitely, but it's pretty close. So if you look on the screenshot I have on the screen, Antimone and Wells replied to me, or replied to whoever this was, and I asked him, hey, Am I allowed to use some of your music? Because if you didn't know, when I did that little mono, uh, the little prologue from the beginning of Minecraft Story Mode, the first episode, Nothing Built Can Last Forever, I asked, hey, can I use that music? And he said, we do not own the music, but people seem to do it without consequences. So that means, if they don't own the music, I'm surprised they did, but who owns Minecraft Story Mode? When they said that, I was thought, thinking about that last night, saying, do they really own? Does anyone really own Minecraft Story Mode? If LCG went down, Minecraft obviously isn't really doing anything about it. So, does anyone even own Minecraft Story Mode? That is a really good question, and I don't really know that. No one seems to really pick up this Minecraft Story Mode, and if, it, if anyone was going to do it, it would be Telltale or LCG Entertainment, but they don't own the rights to that anymore, but even though they could just probably just ask. But probably they're trying to get more money if Minecraft requires payment. So, no one really owns Minecraft Story Mode. It's not definitely, but probably no one really necessarily owns it. If the Antimon and Wells don't even own their own music anymore, or currently at all, they don't even own their own music. It says, quote, Not sure what you mean on the original post. I was going to say, I was saying, hey, can I use this comment as a suggestion or whatever. But you're welcome to say the quote I said, But Telltale owns all the music. We can't speak of your ability to use it. But others seem to use it without consequences. So that means that I could use music in this video, which means no one owns his music, which probably means no one owns Minecraft Story Mode. And also, Antimon and Wells said another thing, I'll take a screenshot of this really quick, Antimon and Wells said another thing replying to this guy, to quote Jason, whatever his name is, games are made by people and not companies. We do not, we need the original team to make something, not a company trying to cash in. So, Okay, I can't read more. He did not finish his quote. So, it's not going to happen, or in a way that you will be happy. So, I don't really know what he means by this. I'm pretty sure he means that we can't. The Minecraft story mode, he's saying that it won't happen. But, all the information, I'm going to have an answer that you, some of you, may like. Now we move on to Wood. Wood Minecraft the Remote Return. Giving all this information that I'm going over, all the all the facts, all the things I have sources linked in the description, would they? Now this is based on if they would, like if there's choice if they would. So in Telltale's form, I think that's a hundred percent. Yes, well not maybe not hundred percent. So I give the thumbs up of approval, but I'm probably going to say like a probably. We don't really necessarily know if Telltale what even Telltale's games are going to make. They don't even own the rights to, tell, to uh, The Walking Dead and it's confirmed to be over. Look at all the videos on YouTube, sad, people are, are sad that uh, The Walking Dead is not returning, but Wolf Among Us is, which is another popular game. So, who knows what they're trying to do now. They could probably try to get the licenses back to The Walking Dead, to Marvel, and to hopefully even Minecraft, even though they don't own the licenses anymore. So LCG Entertainment might be currently, even with COVID stuff, 
currently oops, just fell, currently trying to get Minecraft Story Mode and other games possibly to come back because Minecraft Story Mode was probably one of their best games. It's up there with Wolf Among Us and The Walking Dead. So would they? For Telltale, that would be a yes. But for Minecraft, given they maybe they don't still want lore in the game, even though they're making a Minecraft movie and they care about their community, I would say that's another maybe. I'll give them a maybe, not probably. I'll give them a maybe. I kind of doubt it, really, but Minecraft would agree. But maybe if Telltale is the one that asks Minecraft for the Minecraft for the rights again, they would. So that's why I, I think Telltale probably, but Minecraft maybe because i'm not really sure they, they can cash in a lot of money for another minecraft story mode i mean i would definitely buy every single season every single episode every single day the, the episodes came out so that's a 100 percent i don't even care if i'm trying to build a gaming pc i don't even care i'm trying i love minecraft story mode so yeah i'm probably am going to get minecraft story mode so would for Telltale, that's a probably, and for Minecraft, that's a maybe. Let's move on to should. Should is the next topic and the next factor that we're going to factor in if Minecraft Story Mode will return. It's mostly for the fans, the money, and if they just should do it in general. So, first, let's just, let's just do the fans. For the fans, if they should do it for the fans. So, the, for the fans, and as I said before, and I'm pretty sure other YouTubers said before, I personally heard them. They said Minecraft really, or like Mojang and Microsoft really care about the community and they usually do everything for them. Heck, we even got a Piglin Brute even after the Nether update, so we're probably most likely going to get that. So, with that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to say they would should do it for the fans. I say 100%, and they should also do it just because I'm just like all the posts on feedback say they should do it. Every post on anything else I even saw a subreddit or something or something I don't really know where it is because I found it on my phone looking through Minecraft story mode I don't really think I can have the information if I do I'll put a screenshot on screen but it says they could possibly get the only ask for the license back or, or like they uh, they request the license back to Minecraft story mode so should I do it for the fans that's a 100% so what I should do it for the money that would be another 100% because money isn't it's not just there to help the fans i mean most people only do their things for money i don't do my thing for money because i'm not even monetized so i do it because i really like it but some people i'm not saying any naming any names but i've noticed some people just have the biggest egos and just get a lots of money from what they do so yeah um i just think that that they should do it for the money and that would be another 100 percent but now we should just should do it for in general this one's going to be a little bit harder, so let's just, just do it in general. That is one another 100%. So you should do it, just in general. Like, we should just do it. We should just do it, guys. Let's just do it for no reason. If they would just say that, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't say that. But if you're doing it for no reason, then I would say another 100%. They would totally do that. So, now we move on to the last one, the could. Now, could is probably going to be the largest and probably the longest, I think. Or something. I, I think I said something before keep redoing this whole episode could minecraft story mode return now this is there based on their inability or their ability no as i said before probably no one really knows and no one really sees like no one really can tell like who owns the rights to minecraft saying that Anthony and wells said they don't they don't own the rights to their music telltale does but if telltale is down they don't even own the rights to minecraft story mode and minecraft isn't doing anything about it so who really owns minecraft story mode no one can really revive it, so yeah, unless someone asks, hey, can we get this? Maybe Telltale. They could ask Telltale or Minecraft. Minecraft probably the one controlling all things. I think Mojang's, uh, since, uh, what's their name? Since there's so many names in there. Telltale doesn't own the rights to it anymore. Minecraft's probably the one because they're using their Minecraft, the Minecraft look and the Minecraft feel. So I probably, you, if you were to ask if you're a company, make sure no one it is. But if you were going to ask, ask Mojang or Microsoft saying, hey, can we have these lights to this because we like to make this because a lot of fans like it. And I personally fall into that category. So could, so could for Minecraft's sake, I'd say that would be another maybe. I'm not really saying it's a 100%, but now we're going to move on to Telltale. Now, Telltale cannot. There is like no way. Telltale cannot. Without, unless they own, they ask for the licenses back for most of their games, including Minecraft Story Mode, and I'd say that's like 100%. If they're, if obviously, if they're asking for the rights back, then obviously they're going to, they're probably going 
to be able to make Minecraft story mode again. So I would say could they do that? That is a definite no unless they asked. So yeah, that's it for the sh that's it for the would, should, and could factor. Okay, uh, quick timeline here. How I see if Minecraft story mode would were to return, I'd see how this would play out. COVID dies down, and everyone goes back to their normal jobs, and tells them works on getting their licenses back to many games, including Minecraft story mode. And that's unless Minecraft obviously says no, or they can't, they just can't. I don't really know, but you know, really who knows about what the fate of Minecraft Story Mode is. And all I will say is, Minecraft Story Mode is just now up in the air, and no one really knows what will happen next. Minecraft Story Mode's return, I personally leave this at a maybe. And that does it for the first episode of WSSC. And thanks for watching this video. And let me know if Minecraft, if, if you want Minecraft to return. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.